how to spot a high value woman. Fellas, if you're watching this video and you're single or you're dating somebody right now, I'm gonna teach you how to be able to identify if the woman you're seeing is high value. And if you're single, I'm gonna teach you how to find this one. What are the things to look for to make sure that this woman is gonna be a high value woman? Okay, so stay to the end because I'm gonna talk about what the biggest thing out of all of these is that you should be looking for when deciding whether to get with somebody. Okay, number one is a willingness to apologize. Okay, that's the first thing. I put it first because it's not the most important, but it is up there, okay? The last one that I'm gonna give is gonna be the most important, but this one, dude, there's a reason why I put it first. If you find someone who does not have the ability to admit when they are wrong, then you can't work on things and you can't improve as a couple, okay? If you admit when you're wrong and she admits when they're wrong, then guess what? Y'all can grow together and you can work on things as a unit. I don't care what kind of relationship you're having with this person. If you have someone who never admits when they're wrong and always thinks that they're in the right, you're not gonna have a great relationship with them, okay? So she might not always say, I'm sorry, although if she does say, I'm sorry, that is so huge because most women can't do that. So if you're someone who's with someone, they might like, change their behavior without saying anything. For instance, you know, me and my girl, we were talking one time and, you know, kind came to find out during that conversation, she doesn't do nearly as many things as she thinks she does for me. And because of that, she just got kind of quiet for a little bit. We changed the subject. So she didn't apologize then, although she has no problem apologizing when she feels like she's in the wrong, um, which is one thing I love about her. But in this case, she just slowly changed her behavior over time, which is great. You know, you want someone who's willing to change their behavior as time goes on, okay? And I find that that's better. You might not always get the I'm sorry and the big, you know, apology that, that you want. Um, although it is important to be able to have that with somebody, okay? Number two, she takes care of her health. Okay, fellas, you want someone who takes care of her health because if she doesn't take care of your health, then your health is going to get worse around her, okay? You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You're going to be spending a lot of time with this person if y'all are in a relationship. Okay, I don't want again. I don't care what type of relationship it is. You're going to be spending time with this person if she is being really unhealthy with her body, with herself, and above all, if you're thinking of having kids with this woman, how do you think she's going to treat her kids? She's going to have those kids, right? And if she's not taking care of her health and her body, like that is a huge concern. All right, you want someone who eats well, okay? She doesn't have to never drink alcohol or party or do any of the, or never eat sweets, okay? But everything is okay in moderation. If she's doing that seven days a week, that's not someone that you want to be getting into a relationship with, okay? Now, a lot of times women can get away with this when they're young, okay? If they're in their early 20s, you know, sometimes even in their teens, they can get away with partying seven nights a week and still look good, okay? Doesn't mean you should get with them, but it is something that you want to watch out for because that is not maintainable. When they hit 29, if they keep doing that, they're going to get really large, they're going to get really gross, and they're just not going to be a healthy person to be around. They're going to have all these health problems, okay? So make sure that the woman you're dating takes care of her health. Number three, she pays attention to you. Guys, this is super, super important, okay? If you told her something several times and she's forgotten it, if she doesn't remember what you do and you guys have been dating for two months and she still doesn't no, and you've told her multiple times, like, guys, like, she is not paying attention to you. Clearly, there are other things that are more important going on in her life that she thinks are more important, and you aren't one of those things. You want a woman who really takes the time to think about you. You want a woman who really takes the time to pay attention to you, not just what you mean for her, but you, okay? And you should do this too, because she's looking to see if you're doing this as well. Women are very observant to this, but you got to give them the same energy back sometimes because if a woman's not giving that to you, then guess what? She's not going to be there for you. She's not going to be a good partner. Okay. They know statistically whether a couple is going to break up or not, or, or not by 90% accuracy, if they are willing to observe how the other partner is looking or feeling in the moment. So if they're in a room and one person is clearly angry and the other person just doesn't see it, very high likelihood that that couple is going to break up. Okay. So find someone who pays attention to you. She can tell when something's on your mind or you're really upset about something or, you know, she knows the certain things about you and she's willing to learn and, and, and remember those things. Like that is going to be a good partner for you. That's a high quality woman for yourself. Four, takes care of her appearance. Okay. You want someone who takes care of their appearance. Okay. You want a good looking wife. I don't really know what else to say this. Okay. If you have a wife who's comfortable, just walking out and, you know, not looking good, 
then you have a wife who doesn't respect you. Okay. Now, I'm not saying 90% of the time she can't be in her sweatpants without makeup on and her hair all messed up in some weird kadoodly like little thing that she's got. <laughs> That's fine. My girlfriend wears comfy clothes 95% of the time. But when we go out, when I'm with other people, when we're in public, or when it's date night, or when, you know, at certain times, she is, she is taking care of her appearance. She's making sure she stays in shape. She has her body looking good. Okay. She's making sure she gets, you know, her hair done. Right. Right. This is stuff that sometimes I pay for because I know how important it is. Like for me, I want someone who tries to look good. Fellas, I, I don't know if you understand this, but looks are basically a measure of how much you care. Some people are born with looks and everyone says that looks fades. So you shouldn't judge for looks. No, you should judge whether somebody cares about their look. If they do not care about their look, they are going to look ugly. If they care about their look, and they're gonna stay looking good for a really long time. You ever seen a woman in her 40s or 50s who's like, you're like, damn, man, she's in her 40s and 50s? Well, this woman looks good. It's because she tries. <laughs> she tries to look good. She stays in shape. She again, this is part of being being very healthy, okay? She knows how to take care of herself, right? Her hair, makeup, lotion, all of those things to keep her skin looking good, to keep herself looking good. And on top of that, if you even want to get the bonus uh requirements to this you can even get plastic surgery okay like there's no excuse if you have money for looking bad in today's day and age all right so find someone who takes care of their appearance they don't have to go overboard like i said plastic surgery is optional all doing those crazy get those nails done that all that's optional but she should care about her appearance and take care of it okay if she doesn't care about her appearance she looks up dressing like a slob you know, with barely any effort in, that makes you look bad. Number five, she lets you take charge, okay? She lets you lead, she lets you step into your masculine. She becomes feminine, all right? She's willing to do this. Now, a lot of women in today's day and age have a lot of trouble stepping into their feminine, allowing you to take charge, okay? We have a lot of women in the workforce, a lot of boss babes, and so they spend a lot of time trying to be the man all the time. And if they do this, they might have trouble allowing you to be that man. Now, if you have somebody in this relationship, they're always nagging you, they're trying to get you to make decisions, they're not being submissive, they're doing a lot of things that's gonna make sex and actual attraction and you feeling good impossible, all right? So you have to step up as a man and take charge, but also at the same time too, she has to allow you to take charge, right? It's a two-way street. There are some women that I have dated that were just never comfortable with this, all right? I did what I had to do, and the only thing that I can do as a man to respect myself was to walk away from that relationship. And by the way, most of those women, when you do this as a man, a lot of times they, you know, they try and get you back, or um, maybe they talk smack about you, but <laughs> uh, uh, not always. Most of the time, if you are willing to take charge, they should be willing to let you do that. It's not gonna be all the time. You don't always be taking charge. If you just wanna chill and hang out, that's fine. But in order for sexual attraction, desire to get created, there has to be a man to woman or masculine feminine connection in there, okay? And that happens when you lead and she follows. Number six, she has goals, all right? She has goals, she has some sort of responsibility to herself. Those things are really important. Not as important as your goals and your ambition, okay? Not to say that we put hers to the side, but when it comes to raising a family as uh, for the very long term, you know, those things are gonna be really important, okay? When we're talking about like long term in, the, in terms of the relationship, okay? Typically, if she's gonna be pregnant and have a kid, you know, you're gonna be one who's like working, making sure that she's taken care of, okay? So you gotta be the, that person who has that ambition. Women care about a man's ambition more than men care about a woman's ambition, but you should care about it, okay? Because if she doesn't have any ambition, she's one of these do nothing babes that just has everything handed to her, that's gonna be annoying to deal with. Then her whole focus is gonna be on you, and when you're inevitably not enough, then she's gonna get angry and uh, you know wanna leave, all right? Okay, so you wanna have a woman who has goals, you wanna have a woman who has some sort of responsibilities. You know, one of the things about my girl that I love about her is that she does have goals. But the other thing that I love about her as well is that she really takes care of things, you know? Just animals that she takes care of. She's a good parent to those animals. She's a good person to be around. She treats the, her family and everybody really well. 
All right. Maybe we can add a, another one in there where, you know, how she treats other people, right? Not just you. Okay. That makes a huge, huge difference. All right. Now the underlying thing for all of this is a high value woman for you who helps you achieve your goals. A high value woman is someone who helps you achieve your goals. Some wit people might have a woman that helps them achieve their goals, but it doesn't help you achieve your goals. Okay. So that's why a high value woman isn't the same for everybody, right? Maybe a high value woman for a guy is he wants to move up in society. And, uh, you know, this woman is really rich. And so she helps him get to the upper echelons of society. So he, he marries through that. Okay. That, that was actually a common way that men and women used to advance through society. Um, in the olden days, uh, mostly a lot of times women, but men would do this too, especially if she was widowed and George Washington did this, but like that would be an example of somebody who's helping you achieve your goals. Now that's not my goal. I don't want to date some rich girl who, you know, is making it all about her. I want to date someone who likes me. That's what I want. I want someone who helps me achieve my goals, who's supportive of me. Not every woman is going to be good for you, you guys. All right. And it's really important to be able to recognize this. If she is not helping you reach your goals, you have to break up with her. I don't normally say this, but if she's not helping you reach your goals, you got to break up with her. Now, this doesn't mean if you've had a 20 minute argument or something like that, you immediately got to break up with her. Well, that's 20 minutes that could have been working. No, that's not a good enough reason. Okay. A good partner provides a lot of good things to your life, but if she's not helping you reach your goals, then you have to leave that person. It's a harsh thing. Now, let's say you're watching this video and the person you're dating, you're not sure if she's helping you reach your goals. Well, does she do these six things? Let's solve that question. If she's not doing those, how can you get her to do those things? Well, let's take an example for maybe your girlfriend doesn't spend a whole lot of time on her appearance, right? She doesn't really care about it that much. What are things that you can do to maybe get her to try a little bit more? Well, you can ask her. <laughs> But do it, do it the right way. Be like, hey, babe, when you wore that wet red dress and you had that like red lipstick on and, you know, I loved that outfit. You look so hot then. Positive reinforcement, I find, works a lot better than saying, hey, you look like shit today. Get back and <laughs> get, get yourself looking better. You're embarrassing me. Okay. She's probably going to resent you if you do stuff like that. Okay. Don't say that. All right. Positive reinforcement is good. But just generally asking, you know, if it comes down to it, you say, hey, babe, you know, I love you to death and, you know, this is great, but I really wish that, you know, sometimes you'd be able to say, I'm sorry. That would mean a lot to me if you said that. Okay. Cause I'm willing to say, I'm sorry when I'm wrong. And when you don't say you're sorry, to me, it makes me feel like you think that you're never wrong and I'm the only one who's wrong. Right. You know, you do that whole proper way of, uh, communicating, right? There's a whole strategy to be able to do this, right? Now, if you're not seeing somebody and communicating like this is not the right time, if it's early on, it's probably not the right time to be making any of these demands, okay? This is only if you're currently dating somebody. If you're not dating somebody, what are the things that you can look for? I would say you probably should be able to identify these things within the first couple months of dating somebody, okay? In the first few months of dating somebody, somebody's going to make a mistake and you're going to see how they're going to react to it. You should be able to see them in a lot of different environments. Do they actually take care of their health? Are they actually having goals or did they just put a front on you for the first couple of dates and say they were doing all of these crazy things? It's easy to talk. Talk is cheap. You got to pay attention to their actions. All right. So in my program, basically I break down and I help guys be able to identify whether this person is a high quality woman. I can usually tell by the way that they're paying attention to the person, the way that person's paying attention to them, the things that they're doing, especially when it comes to, is she letting you leave? Is she actually paying attention to you? Very easily able to identify those. So that's something that you get a lot of in my program. So if you wanna get coached by me, you wanna get access to my program, then go to getcoachedbyloyd.com. Links in the description box below. First one, book a free call with me or a member of my team. And we'll see if you're a great fit. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This is how to meet a high quality woman. This is how to identify a high value woman. Good luck out there. We'll talk soon.